What made you want to be involved with this particular biopic? Because there have been many, many films and television shows featuring Winston Churchill, so right. why this one? Right, that's such a great question. Um, I, I think what was interesting to me about the script when I very first read it is it isn't really a biopic, which is what's exciting about it. It focuses on a very specific time. It's really a three-week period when Winston's at sort of this dip town in his whole career. He's just coming out of political wilderness. He's not really wanted by anybody. He doesn't really have any power. And he's the one they sort of have to settle for. And what's so amazing about the movie is, I, I honestly still believe this after all this time, is had someone else been sitting in that chair when the parliament was saying, hey, let's sign a peace treaty with Hitler, this world might be a completely different place because Churchill was one of the few people in the whole political landscape that had the drive and the vision to see who Hitler really was and to understand that that was a faulty path. And I just think that's an amazing story to tell because most people don't know that history. I didn't know that his parliament was pushing for a peace treaty. I did not know that. So it's interesting. That's amazing. It's very interesting to hear that. And it's great to have films that feature other parts of history that people don't know about. Yeah. Were there any particular challenges trying to get the film made uh, pre-production and during production? Yeah, I think one of the biggest challenges is to get the right amount of money for a movie like this. It really shouldn't be your little $5 million movie. And it's a, t it's a tough movie for a, a company to commit to, right? Because it's, it's, uh, there's a headiness to it. There's a weight to it. Um, no one's flying through the air with a cape. So you don't have this kind of superhero thing. Um, and so it's a really adult movie, but there's so much humor in this movie and it's so timely, it's so oddly timely that I just believe and hope that it'll actually reach a, a quite a, a wide audience. And I think that Universal felt that and Working Title felt that as well. And that's why we're here. Now you kind of touched upon it, but what do you hope people take away from this film? Yeah, interesting, that's a great question too. I really hope that people um, in a way get embodied in their own uh, moral convictions because the one Churchill made a lot of mistakes in his career but in this moment he was very morally committed to standing up against fascism and he did it against all odds and I think that's a hard thing to do when you're getting pressure from everybody who's supposed to be working with you and so the fact that he did that I hope that that gives everybody some empowerment to do that in their own lives. Well thank you so much.